I was in New York City earlier this spring and honestly, it's the best time to be in the city. But at what cost? How much is it to stay in the hotel? Isn't it expensive? Well, I'm looking at micro hotels, which aren't too expensive to start with. There are many hotels that are really, really expensive to stay in the city, but I want to go the cheaper and economical way. Arlo Soho I found out to be the cheaper ones. If you do your research on Airbnb, they're going as low as $79.99 or $86.99 per night. That was a steal for me and I booked it for 5 nights and enjoyed the city. During those 5 nights, I needed a workplace and record a podcast. Here's all the accommodations this hotel offers. In the first floor, by the entrance, there's a 24 hour bodega. I'm a huge fan of bodegas but 6 or 7 dollar for a can of soda isn't the option to go with. Which I understand that the hotel needs to cover expenses because of the rooms are going as cheap as $79.99. Masks are a priority while being around the common areas. But once you find your spot to sit on, you can comfortably take it off while working. What made this hotel worth a while was not just the rooms, but the city bikes. They're completely free if you're booked at Arlo. Okay, let's go back to hotel. The first floor also has co-working spaces, as they would call it, a living room and this one a library which I was seeing them turn into conference rooms Arlo also offers two IMAX by the elevators with printers let's not forget Harold's restaurant within the hotel they serve American cuisine from breakfast lunch and dinner I did not have any food at Harold's but it seemed romantic and it had a courtyard which is great for springtime So the common areas is pretty intense and crazy. It looks really, really good. I like the common areas. Uh, and for a couple of days, I was editing from the common areas. Uh, particularly this one wasn't available a couple of days ago because it was occupied by Samsung with their launch with Galaxy new computer, like the, the PC that they have, right? So now is the first time I'm like getting to experience uh, the second floor. Um, common area where you could do your work, uh, meetings, or any any of that. Uh, for a particular reason, I uh, recorded the podcast on the first floor yesterday with Natan. If I knew that it looked this great, I would record a podcast right here. So maybe we'll record a podcast tomorrow here. And uh, yeah, it's pretty intense. And also, it has a balcony. A shared balcony that's where the verge made the video about the galaxy uh the new galaxy computers um too bad that samsung didn't invite me for their event or else i would have done a review on their uh computer so samsung if you're watching this uh comment down below or reach out to me on my dms on instagram or email me yeah so that's the common areas. There are three working elevators in the hotel that only work with your key card. And there are five social distancing stickers, meaning that there can only be five people per elevator. Once we reach the rooftop, there is a bar with an indoor seating area. But no one was there because everyone was enjoying the weather outside. It was pretty beautiful. guys so basically this is the Arlo hotel uh, they come in variations of rooms uh, I only get the chance to showcase the king-size bedroom uh, the other ones the bunk bedrooms or the uh, twin size two bed rooms are taken so this hotel is booked out uh, for the entirety of the week so I reached out to Arlo uh, asking them if I could have access to them but they're booked out guys that's how uh, people are coming to New York during springtime. The room was tidy but well thought out. It had everything you needed, like motorized shades, a TV, and a light switch right on the headboard.
All right, so the biggest thing I would say, the storage space. So if you have a lot of bags, right, you could just store it right underneath the bed. Like there's so much space, I put a lot of bags in there. And if you want to secure your stuff like passport or you can just put it in the safe. There's a safe in here. This space looks like a small shoe closet, but it turns into a floating table with outlets. Right in front of that, there is a space saving closet where you can hang your clothes and underneath there is a small fridge. So basically the bathroom situation is pretty tiny, right? So, but it gets the job done. The sink area is right on the opposite side of the bathroom, so it's great. Um, you could wash yourself up in the morning, wash your face, and head out to the running. And the thing is, I really like, it has two mirrors. One mirror here, well you can see until your belly button or your hips. And there's another one, you can see your whole body. Like legit, this hotel is a micro hotel, but it, they thought about everything. They adjusted everything uh, based on uh, a human's needs. I know there's like hotel pods, it's like really tiny, you can't really move, but this hotel is pretty great. What I also love about this hotel, right when you enter, there's like hand sanitizer. You can sanitize your hands, pretty nice. This was the review for Arlo Hotel guys. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel because it will motivate me to create more content like this and also it will recommend more videos like mine to you guys so you won't miss out on any content in the future. So please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment down below what do you guys think about this hotel and if you guys want me to review any other hotels in the cities across America.